3, 2, 1, action. Only the foreigner's tribunal is empowered to declare a person's cut. We are rolling, I think. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tridip. I am a journalist working for The Quint and we are putting out this video to give you an exclusive peek into all the behind the scenes action, the effort that our journalists put in to bring out stories that really matter. I have been personally covering the Assam NRC extensively for the past few years as uh, I have a personal stake in it. You know, it's uh, not just a story that I'm doing as a journalist, but the story also matters to me a lot because me and my family members, we also had to go through the whole NRC process. I just checked the NRC and thankfully me, my mom and my daughter, we have made it to the list. We can legally call ourselves Indians now. It also helps that uh, I have my roots in Assam and I am familiar with the local languages, be it Assamese or Bengali. So when I am interviewing people, I am not just a journalist, I am also one of them. The people who I am speaking to, they identify with me and they speak their hearts out. Oh, the electoral roll up to 1971. This is the key document to Aponi Zama. This is the document. ASR, ASR, 19. Last year, we brought out our first documentary on NRC, but we felt that something was amiss. It had to be more inclusive. So, this year, we have got a wide gamut of voices from the Asmis people, from the Bengali speaking Hindus to the Bengali speaking Muslims to children to the indigenous tribes of Assam. And to get these voices, we had to ensure that we are present on ground zero. So we travelled from our headquarters in New Delhi to Guwahati. That's a distance of almost 2,000 kilometers. And even within Assam, we travelled to villages which were deep in the interiors of the state. We covered almost five districts to make sure that these voices could be captured on camera. Almost uh, everywhere we went, we found people who are poor and illiterate. They are the ones who are out of the NRC and there is a sense of fear. And you know, they felt that their only hope are journalists like me, who they think can bring out their stories for the whole wide world to see. <laughs> And then our biggest scoop. The Quint was the first media publication to bring out the pictures of India's biggest detention camp that was being built in Assam. Till then, we had only heard rumors and murmurs that a big detention camp was being built, but nobody had seen the pictures. I used my sources and the context that I had developed over the years to find out that actually a detention camp was being built in Matia in Gualpara district. So we travelled all the way to Matia to shoot those pictures. We got about 20 minutes to take those shots. 3, 2, 1, action. We just got to know that this detention centre here in Matia will have 15 buildings inside the complex. So we got voices from across Assam. We also got shots of the foreigners tribunal and our big exclusive, India's biggest detention camp. But the challenge is how to put all these elements together into a documentary, into a narrative which actually holds your attention. And that's where our video editor steps in. About why they were excluded. In this kind of edit, basically when you have people and their problems, the emotions run high and we uh, avoid that the edit is very gimmicky and keep it simple and straight so that the audience is emotional grounds with the audience and their problems and their emotions can connect with their emotions. We are going to play the game and we are going to play the game and we are going to play the game and we are going to play the game. I really hope that this behind the scenes video will help you understand the kind of effort and the budget that goes into bringing out these stories which are editorially strong and keeps alive the spirit of independent journalism. So we are requesting you, our audience members, to support the Quint and contribute financially 
because with your support we can tell more such stories which a conventional media house may never bother to cover good